Hey guys, it's your friend John here, and today I'm doing a scrap weapon build challenge where I try to make a weapon using nothing but scrap I have laying around. I'm going to go on my scrap pile where I have a bunch of old and used stuff that I have just sitting there, and I'm going to see if I can make a legitimate weapon out of that type of stuff. And what type of weapon am I going to be making? I'm going to be trying to make a Warhammer or a Warhammer-like weapon, or something similar to a war club, a club Warhammer that type of thing. So that's what I'm going to be making today. To make this scrap weapon, the first thing you're going to need are a long wooden pole. I'm going to be using a wooden shovel handle. The top part of a wooden baseball bat. If you don't have one laying around, just take a full size baseball bat, cut the top off and use that. Two longer and larger sized nails or spikes. Some shorter sized nails. I'll be using nail ends that I have left over from a previous project. A wooden car wheel or something round to put on the end of the pole. And some cotton cording for the grip. That's basically all you need to make this weapon. So as you can see, I have sanded down right in here on my baseball bat top, and I flattened this part, and the reason why I did it is so when I glue it on, it's going to have a better bond and more surface area for it to stick, so it's far less likely to break off. And you can also see right here on the end, I added my car wheel, I glued it on, and I pegged it on, I put a, uh, put a long wood peg in there, and that's so it won't break off, and this is here, so as I'm using it, my hand won't slide down. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue this baseball bat top onto this end. Once you have it taped up and clamped down, just take a wet rag and just clean up any glue that's squeezing out or dripping out. And just let it sit for a full 24 hours so it can properly dry.
All right, I'm almost done with this top part. And as you can see, I added in two wooden pegs that go all the way through into the baseball bat top. And the reason why I added those two is so this can have added strength and it's less likely to break. I also added in some wooden pegs on the side. I glued them in and then I taped them up and I let them dry. After I let them dry, I sanded it down so it'd be nice and smooth. And the reason why I added those is to make it look like one full piece and not two separate pieces, giving a much nicer and smoother look. Not to mention these side pieces will also add some additional strength. So again, it's far less likely to break off. I also cut down and sharpened my two nails, giving me more spike look and less like a nail look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here and drill a hole here. And I'm going to add them in so it's going to look something like this. It'll go one on the side and one on the top going all the way through up there and on the top. And that's what I'm going to do next. Now that I finished putting in my two metal nail spikes into the top part of this handle, and now that I finished drilling out each hole on the baseball bat top to hold my metal nail ends, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to blow torch all the wood, giving it a dark look. Then I'm going to take it to the sink and wet sand it. After that, I'm going to clear coat the entire thing. I'm now my final step and that's to add the cotton cord gripping onto my handle. As you can see, I already nailed in one end on the other side. I took the cord and I looped it around and I crossed it over and I hammered in one nail so it wouldn't unravel. So now I'm just going to wrap this around. Make sure as you're putting the cord on, you pull it nice and tight so it doesn't become loose as you're using it. Now that my scrap weapon war hammer, or scrap weapon war club, whatever one you want to call it, is finally done, I'm going to take it outside and give it a strength test. 
But before I do, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed before or this is the first time you're watching this video. Hit notifications so you can be aware every time I upload a new video. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Leave a comment, let me know what your overall thoughts are. And if you want to help me get more viewers and possibly more subscribers, please share this video. Thank you. I'm now outside with my finished weapon to give it a strength test and see what type of damage it can do. What I have right here, I have a watermelon or something that's supposed to be a watermelon. I mean, it looks like a watermelon when you hold it like this, but when you hold it like this, it kind of looks like a pineapple. So I don't know if it's a pineapple trying to be a watermelon or a watermelon trying to be a pineapple. I don't really know, but I'm going to call it a watermelon and I'm going to see what type of damage this can do to this weird looking watermelon. Oh. Up next, I have a metal paint can. All right, final test, a solid block of ice that's over five inches thick. So, now that the testing is over, what are my overall thoughts on this weapon I made? I have to say, for something that was completely made out of scraps, but not even that, just overall, this thing performed really well, and I'm quite surprised on just how devastating this thing really is. When being tested against that weird watermelon pineapple hybrid thing, it just got squashed, it didn't stand a chance. And the metal paint can, that thing got crushed, and it got a lot of holes poked into it. So this thing can be used on some metal armor, depending on the thickness and what type of metal it's made out of. And that block of ice, this thing was able to crack that block of ice hit by hit. That block of ice also didn't stand a chance. So this weapon can do a lot of damage when being used. And this weapon is still in one piece. There's no damage. The nails are still in there tight. This baseball bat top is still in there tight. There's no real damage. The only damage is right here. There's a little bit of scratching on the clear coat, but that's very easy to fix. Other than that, this weapon is a solid piece. And the reason why I decided to do a scrap weapon build is because of my friend from YouTube, Weapon Collector. He tagged me in one of his videos, so I'm tagging him back. If it wasn't for him, I would not have made this. So thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to follow me on Instagram and also follow me on Reddit. Join my community on Reddit, but please don't follow me in real life. That would just be a little creepy.